Never fear, visual learners. Here's a video how-to. So you received this email message and you're like, oh no, too many words. I don't know how to do this. Well, trust me, it's not super difficult, although it is a number of steps. So I'm gonna walk through them. And if you're a visual learner, this is gonna be right up your alley. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna copy the formula. Copy, and then we're gonna open up one of our attendance trackers. Here's my, let's see, I'm gonna to go to my CBIO. And wait for that to open up. Okay, so I'm just going to go to this box right here where it says Q1B. I'm gonna click in the cell that has the number in it. And you'll notice up here in the formula bar, there is a formula and we're going to highlight that and we're gonna control V or you can use paste and we're gonna paste in the new formula. And then you're gonna hit the enter key on your keyboard and that'll make the cell selection move down one cell, which is exactly what we want. Then we're gonna switch back. You can use Alt-Tab. It's the best way to switch windows. Switch back to our email window. And we're going to go down to the uh, next one. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but for quarter two, days Q2B. I'm gonna highlight the formula that I need going to copy that with a control C or you can right click and choose copy. And then I'm going to alt tab over to my attendance tracker. And I'm going to scroll over to the orange, pinkish, orangish, mauveish. I don't know what color that is, but basically where it says days Q to B and the number there. And I'm going to click in the formula bar and highlight everything. And I can either backspace and delete it, or I can just paste once I have everything highlighted. I can just paste right in the formula bar. And then I have to hit enter, and that's done. And that's it. All fixed. Happy attendance tracking. <laughs>